First, there was Columbia, Chaz East. You are a meathead. Where the NYPD decided to move in and shut the encampment down at the behest of New York City. <laughs> now we go to the West Coast where Chaz began, no, not Seattle, LA. Son of a bitch! The UCLA campus, where cops in riot gear as of last night were getting ready to do the same thing. Kill the um, you think that somebody has some compromising photos on Newsom for him to do this? <laughs> Just saying. I'm Jazz Bergonzo on this. Nothing to see here, please! So what's next? What's up, everyone? Happy Thursday. Jazz Bergonzo, what's next? Facts, common sense, and salt. Hope you guys are feeling good today. Well, you ever get that deja vu feeling? You know, that you've done something, been something, been where, read something, you know, you know, traveled somewhere before. And it's just like, wait a minute, I, I just, I, I know I've done this before. For me, it was um, as of yesterday. I did a video in regards to Columbia University, Chaz East, and uh, New York's City's Eric Adams, and of course, the worthless Carrie, Kathy Hochul, after nonsensical bullshit with the last three or four weeks of literally holding the college hi hostage. Said enough was enough. Sent the NYPD in, they shut the encampment down, and made multiple arrests. Now we go to the West Coast, where Chaz began, no, not Seattle, LA, the UCLA campus, where as of last night, cops in riot gear were getting ready to do the same damn thing. Hmm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Gee, I wonder what pushed Newsom to do this. Hmm. And here we go. This comes out of our part. Pro-Palestinian activists, I'm sorry, Hamas lovers, Israel haters, rally at UCLA as police prepare to remove the encampment. Yes, Chaz West. Here we go. Uh, let's see. Uh, Hamas demonstrators, Hamas lovers, rally at the University of California, Los Angeles, UCLA, on Wednesday evening as Los Angeles Police Department, the LAPD, arrived in riot gear to remove their weak old encampment. We'll show you a little bit, but... Um, background. Bill Malugin of Fox, per LAPD source, LAPD has just gone into citywide tactical alert, tactical alert, as tensions build at UCLA campus. Large numbers of LAPD and riot gear now arriving on the campus near the encampment. And of course, you can see the, you can actually see and hear the ass wipes in the background going uh yes uh we're pro-palestinian and uh and we love it okay whatever earlier wednesday afternoon the lapd warned the activists to lead activists to leave the encampment let's call them terrorists let's call them what they are encampment or face arrest the activists cheered and resolved to stay supporters flocked to ucla l from elsewhere in the city to offer moral support as riot uh, police masked the encampment, the prison buses reportedly waited on nearby Wilshire Boulevard with the activist Hella Rally with chants of Free Palestine, Si, Si Puede, and the people united will never be defeated. Of course, now you got pro Palestinian in Spanish. I love it. They also chanted From the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. Palestine, of course, doesn't exist. It's Arab squatters. Let's be uh, realistic here, which is widely considered anti Semitic chant. Roughly half of the world's Jews live in Israel, the historic and religious homeland of the Jewish people for a millennia. As, as they chanted, long live Infatada, Intifada, excuse me, Inf Intifada revolution. The term Intifada refers to Palestinian uprisings in 80s and 2000s, and latter was a brutal campaign of terror that killed over 1,000 Israelis, mostly citizens, October 7th of last year. Since the establishment last Thursday, the encampment had occupied Central Plaza of campus in front of Royce Hall, building barricades and forcible denying entry to students, journalists, and members of the public. To journalists, this journalist was assaulted by the mass guards on the encampment. UCLA appeared uh, to delegate, uh, delegate security authority to the encampment guards. Jewish students feared their personal safety and were unable to pass through the area. God forbid we actually have students who actually want to learn. What a shocker. The UCLA administration declined to call the campus, uh, call police on the campus until pro-Israel vigilantes attacked the encampment overnight from Tuesday into Wednesday, pulling down the barricades and clashing with activists for hours. On social media, activists claimed that the police deliberately ne uh, neglect, uh, I'm sorry, neglected to protect them because they are on the side of Zionists. In reality, UCLA security had protected the encampment for days as the administration kept police out. About uh, early Wednesday. 
Members of the encampment held a press conference and complained about the lack of police protection. Ironically, as Fox News and Bill Mnuchin, Bill Mnuchin pointed out, one of the activist demands is to abolish the university police. Yeah, People, I'm sorry. More than divestment as well. Um, I think um, given the fact that the University of California is founded on colonialism, um, it's inherently a violent institution. There needs to be uh, an addressment of U.S. imperialism and its ties to US, the UC system and how it perpetuates war and violence abroad. Not only abroad, but also here, locally. Um, we see this with the 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 brutality, the police brutality that black and brown students face here at UCLA, Arab students, Muslim students, Palestinian students. All right. Enough of the bullshit. Uh, members of the Jewish community were alarmed in the encampment and its radical anti-Semitic rhetoric. The neighborhoods near UCLA are home to significant numbers of Jews, notably immigrants from Iran. The overnight clash has finally provoked uh, Governor Gavin Newsom. Yes, Governor Gavin Newsom, who allows anybody and everybody to infiltrate his country because he doesn't give a fuck. And L.A. Mayor Karen Bass, who's actually is also worthless as well, to react to the situation. Bass vowed to uh, to um, to help those responsible for the violence overnight will be prosecuted. UCLA Chancellor Jane Block added that the students who were found to have participated in this vigilantism will be arrested and will face disciplinary procedures. Ooh, a good finger wagon is what I expect. It is a swift response compared to the week of tolerance shown towards the encampment. When you are giving credibility to a bunch of ass clowns wearing masks in 90 degree heat in California. Trust the science. Yes, because these young 20 somethings, you know, who don't know how to wipe their ass, you know, are more experts than you are. But this is becoming typical. We're seeing this, um, in the video I mentioned yesterday, man, knows it just in the video I mentioned yesterday, in regards to uh, you know, you know, USC, Yale, of course, Columbia, um, of course, UCLA. We've seen this at a number of colleges. Um, when you have stupidity and ignorance run amok, parents, is this what you pay for? You know, UCLA, you're paying what, a hundred grand, hundred plus grand? For your kids to be educated, you know, you know, because in college, you're, you know, you're supposed to find yourself, you know, get involved in different cliques, you know, but, uh, this is not what, uh, I think parents expected. But then again, if their parents are boomer parents, you know, the free love era, you know, because the same ones who are running around, you know, with free love and free sex during the sixties and Woodstock are now at the schools teaching your kids so big surprise there but anyway when you allow this trash baggery to go on for several weeks instead of just nipping the shit in the bud like i don't know again i hate to mention it but uh florida this is what you get ah 2024 another shitty year and with that being said, I'm Jazz Gonzo. This is what's next. Want to see more like this? Please have a comment below. Like it, share it, subscribe to it. Hit that notification bell so you guys never miss a thing. Continue spreading the word about the show. Appreciate you guys watching. And we'll see you next time. Peace.